Hey guys, Mike here for a new breakdance tutorial. So today we show you how to use the selectors so we can have more styling options. So let's say we have this image box and we want to change the text right here. So first thing to do is to check the option. And as you can see, we have a typography option for the text. So we can change the color, the font size, these kind of things. But how about changing the background, adding some um, border effect or maybe shadow? So we don't have such option here, but what we can do is to use the selector. So to use the selector, let's go back to our typography here and let's change the color so it's a bit easier to find. Put red, doesn't look good here, but it doesn't matter. So to find the right selector, we go to the front hand and with the dev tool, we try to find the right class. So actually it's pretty easy to do. If you check here, we have EE image box text. Usually the class name speaks by themselves, so it should not be too hard to find. And if we go here to the style, we have the full selector with the color we just applied. We can even change the color and see it's the right selector. So what we can do is we copy this full line and in the selectors panel, we go to past it. Now we have this new selector and we have all these options. Let me close everything. So we can apply now a background effect to this element. So let's say I want a black here. I can add, uh, we had some spacing, maybe 20, add a little border. Okay, for the font text, let's go back to. So as you can see, we have added some uh, styling. We couldn't do directly with a match box, but we can do it with a selector. We can do, uh, we can change the size. Anyway, now if we copy or duplicate the element, as you can see, the styling was not applied to the element. The reason is because of the class right here. Let's go back here. Here we have a class with a number. And each number are unique, which means this class is only applied to one element. So what we can do is to remove the class. So now this styling option will be applied to all image box text. So each time we duplicate one, even if I remove all the styling, we still have that styling right there. And if I want to change the color only of that one, for example, I want that one to be, I don't know, another color like, uh, where? Ah, it was not the title, it was the text. I want to, uh, that one to be red, right? But if I want to change the background for all, I just have to go back here and I can change it. So it's pretty easy way to add more styling option to some element. And uh, we just have to be careful to not play too much with a display, maybe size too, because you can kind of break the elements and it won't be necessarily responsive or this kind of things, except if you know exactly what you are doing. So it should not be a problem, but for background, we have all the option we can for the Topography, we have the option right there already. For the border, we can add, uh, let's see, I have a border here. And change the color. And they all have the border here. Now here we can see it, but it's the same. Anyway, so that's it for today. And uh, see you next time.